Hello guys and welcome back to our Vexel Art tutorial and uh, this is part 1 of skin shadings Okay, if you miss or hindi mo napanood yung line art video natin um, you can check out this link tong lalabas sa taas or maybe check the description for the link papunta sa previous uh, video natin which is the line art I'm sorry for that video kasi nakalimutan ko and kala ko nakasaksak yung uh, microphone natin and, uh, which is hindi pala tinamad naman ako ulitin kaya nag voice over na lang pa ako doon okay anyway let's continue with the tutorial uh, if this is our line art gagawa tayo ng layer below yan which is yung base color natin base ibig sabihin siya yung nasa ibaba Okay, like basement sa baba parang ganon and then uh, let's see Ayan, close natin in this case retrace ko na lang diretso kasi yung hair naman natin ay nasa ibabaw kaya hindi siya maapekto make sure to select this one okay Ayan. and then let's trace or let's add the shape shapes pala itong mga to ng mga lods. Vexel art is based on shapes. Ayan. So, ang ginagawa natin using the pen tool are shapes. Okay, so this is our base color. Ayan. So, make sure to select the base color. Uh, press Ctrl G. Ayan. As in gorgeous or guapo. G. And let's rename this to skin. Okay, bakit ko ba ginawa to? Uh, ginawa ko yan to organize our layers. Okay? To make it more organized. And then, uh, we can uh, remove this part using the same pen tool. Make sure to select the base. Select subtract. And then, pwede nating tanggalin to. And by tracing at uh, dito yung loob ng ating mata ay pwede natin gawin to or maybe hayaan na lang natin and we can just fix it later pero as for me mas specially for the yung mga nagsisimula pa lang mag matuto or mag aral ng vexel art ay magkaroon naman kayo ng idea idea how I, how to do these things okay so it looks like this. So, para mababaliwala ito mamaya. Just an idea. Ayan, give you a idea. Mababaliwala kasi yan mamaya if we're going to use the other colors. Okay. So, nagawa na natin yung base color which is this one. This time naman, gagawa na tayo, mag-add na tayo ng um, shadows. Okay. For the next shadow, itong gagamitin natin. Pen tool. Or maybe just to make sure, okay, you can just double click yung layer na gusto yung palitan. And then, wala pa ka siyang triangle dito kasi hindi pa siya naging shape. Just a layer, plain layer pa lang siya. Okay, so let's, for this part, the second layer, ang interest natin are the lightest part of the image. Yung pinaka maliwanag na part ng image. So, if we're going to look closely and asan dito yung lightest part of the image or parts so unang una is this part so we're going to trace this yan um, hanggang dito siguro yan let's combine then trace this part kasi this part is one of the lightest part of the image or the reference and so let's just trace this then this part and this part okay just trace that yeah so let's and so if we're going to compare sa ibang part ng image itong tatlong part na to ay yung lightest parts okay unlike sa for example sa previous project na sa Team Sagat which is this one ang reference dito ang lightest part naman dito if we're going to check 
is this parts tama yan 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 dito yan yan so yun yung babawasan natin but on this subject ito yon okay now we're going to close the mga nito our reference close natin yung reference natin okay yan so <laughs> After that, ang gagawin natin, make sure to select the layer sa above, which is the S1 or the shadow 1. Make sure to exclude overlapping shapes. Select nyo yun. Okay. Yan. Then, let's trace the whole image. This will invert yung ref na colors. Okay. After that, press escape. Okay. Now, ang gagawin natin, para hindi naman siya ganong halatang ganyan is we're going to add the mask make sure to select the layer uh, the right layer uh, select yung mask layer layer mask and then make sure to use an eraser uh, yung iba gumagana is brush pero ang gagawin na natin yung bubura kaya ang ginagamit ko is eraser brush I mean eraser make sure na yung brush niya or yung opacity niya is 30% yung flow 70% after that, make sure to select that. Make sure also na yung foreground color is white over black. So let's erase um, the edges. Something like that. Then this part. Yeah, medyo maingay yung mouse. So lamang dito yung mga gumagamit ng pen tab. So last and did na... Tignan nyo to. Yung pangit ng pagka bura ko. So, it doesn't need na kailangan mong bura na ganyan. Kasi ang pangit ng tignan. ba oh? Pangit. So, ang gagawin ko, the, example lang yun, ano? Huwag ganyan. So, ang gagawin ko is I'm going to delete that and add a new layer. So, ang ginagawa ko usually malaki yung brush ko. Yan. I mean, yung eraser ko. Ganyan lang. Usually, ganyan lang yung ginagawa ko. Hindi ko na kailangan kasi ang pangit pag ganyan eh. Sobrang nabura. After that, afternoon, God, afternoon. <laughs> and mag-add ulit tayo ng panibagong layer which is ang gagamitin na natin ay yung um, third color. So ito yung base, ito yung second color, this is the third color. Tre-trace na tayo. So usually uh, kapag nag-tre-trace ako ito, nagsisimula ako sa bandang ilong this part or maybe dito sa bandang may mata so siguro dito for this um, tutorial sisimula tayo dito although we can also i-trace din natin to i-trace din natin yung mamaya so for this tutorial we start tayo dito sa bandang may mata and then puputulin ko siya doon yan then, iwasan na natin to. Ah. Something like that. Okay. Then, medyo ayusin siguro natin na ganun. Okay. New technique again. Okay. So, something like that. And then, re-reduce natin yung opacity maybe to somewhat uh, 50 maybe 60 and 60 percent some and then let's add a layer mass eraser again we're on just going to erase a little and okay so that's good enough for me then mag add ulit ako add ulit ako ng color i mean ng uh, retrace ulit ako Siguro, on this part, tre-trace ko naman ay itong bandang ito. So, maybe start ako dito. Yan. Okay, trace these parts. Yan. Itong light na to, um, babawiin ko na lang siguro ito mamaya sa um, pangalan nito, highlights Ayan. so trace natin ganyan so something like that trace na lang naman natin yung edges okay 
Ayan. So, medyo nagkakaroon na siya. Kakaroon na siya ng korte. Nagiging 3D na siya. <laughs> okay. So, let's continue to combine shapes. Make sure same layer. Mm -hmm. So, maybe this part. Ayan. Okay. Trace natin. So, ganun. Then, this part. Ayan. So, let's close that. Then, siguro, let's uh, erase a little. Mm -hmm. I think that's enough on this part. And then, aha. So, tapos na tayo doon. Uh, let's add this part. So, make sure to combine. Kasi medyo light tong part na to ng kanyang noo. Okay. Ayan. Siguro, lagyan natin ng konting ganun. Kasi medyo maliwanag to eh. Light. Ayan. Okay. After that, same process. Siguro, ayan. Buburain ko lang somewhat yung konting edges niya. Ah. See? I think that's good enough. So, let's continue. Maybe this part. Okay, so let's trace. Oops, sorry. Kapag ganon, control Z lang mga lords. Okay, and then make sure to combine. Don't forget to combine. Siguro gaganon ko na lang. Hatin ko siya dito. Yeah. Okay, so let's trace the edges. Yeah. Edge, edge, edge. Aha. Siguro this part, kahit di mo, huwag mo nang burahin kasi uh, tatakban din siya ng pineapple. Anong uh, watermelon pala. Yan. So, make sure to combine ulit. Let's look for a easy part. Ah, ang hirap naman. Ang hirap. Hindi, hindi naman siya mahirap mga lods. Basta alam mo yung technique. So, this part, Siguro, we're going to trace something like that. Yan. Oops. Add natin yan dito. Then, iwasan natin yung light part na yan. Okay. So, eraser. Select layer mask. Erase natin tong konti. Okay, so this will add a little, um, ayan, ano bang tawag doon? Uh, ayan, outline of the nose, ayan, or yung ilong, ayan. And then, let's continue, make sure to add, combine, then look for a part, na try trace na naman natin siguro, this part, ayan. Okay, this part of the nose, or the skin. Gala lang mga lods. May mahirap ba dyan? Yeah, so, let's raise. Kung nahirapan man kayo, you can just uh, add a comment down the description. Or you can contact me through my messenger or IG. Yeah. Then, combine ulit this part of the kilay. Minsan kasi sa sinasabi nyo mahirap kasi... Ang gusto nyo, pag nag-trace kayo, maganda na agad. Hindi ganun. Siyempre, pag unang trace nyo pa lang, pangit pa yan. Kasi yun nga, di ba? Sisimula pa lang kayo. Okay? Sure to combine. Trace this part. Basta iwasan nyo na lang yung light. Yan. Okay? Then, yan. Tuloy na natin dito. Yan, this part of the eye. Yan. So, let's trace it like that. I mean, let's erase. Okay. Then, let's continue tracing. Mm -hmm. Combine. Oops, sorry for that. Control Z. Yan, sorry, naglolo ko talaga yung keyboard ko. Especially yung control part. Yan. 
baka naman may gustong magregalo sa akin ng keyboard <laughs> yung wireless yan okay yan po so let's race baka natutuwa naman kayo dyan pwede nyo akong regalohan kahit load lang <laughs> joke lang okay uh, yan so I think that's good enough for this um, video tutorial and so if you want to continue learning on Vexel Art you can just subscribe to my channel and then abangan nyo yung next tutorial natin mga lods so ayun lang mga lodi for this video tutorial on the next video gamit tayo ng or maglalakad ulit tayo ng panibagong layer so ayun mga lods maraming salamat I hope na may natutunan kayo kung na may natutunan mo kayo don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down the description below. Thank you so much and see you on the next video.